Okay, hi, I'm Rob Cruikshank, and I'm going to talk to you about the uh, handmade aesthetic in electronics. Uh, we often think of electronics as being sort of a techy, sciencey, shiny thing, but uh, we forget that there's like this long tradition of, of building things by hand, and until very, very recently, everything you got from a factory even was made by hand by somebody. Um, and so we've been sort of keeping that tradition alive um, at InterAccess over the years. This is a picture from uh, 1999. Um, that's Mike Steventon working on the uh, SenseBus project. And this was a time when it was really sort of unsexy to be doing hardware. Everybody was excited about those shiny new computers that we had. And you can see our little sign that says uh, Computer Alley there. Um, we still have the sign, and we're still kind of partying like it's 1999. But maybe we should have had a sign that says uh, Soldering Alley, because that's the stuff that I'm kind of interested in. And um, the sort of handmade fabrication of electronics is uh, it's kind of a contemplative, solitary thing. It's like knitting a sweater or tying flies. And it's uh, in that way, it also has sort of potential for um, like an idiosyncratic style and a unique look. So the, the sort of things that I make um, don't look like the things that Jessica Field makes. Um, but we're both kind of influenced by the same um, culture, and a lot of that came from uh, OCA. They've added a few letters since then, but it's always going to be OCA to me. And the uh, like photoelectric department with um, Norm White and Doug Back, that actually influenced the look of a lot of the stuff that people are still doing. Um, and it's a, it's a tradition, and that's, that's kind of interesting that we're sort of carrying that on, because now a lot of people interacting with electronics in one way or another are um, working with stuff from factories, and you know that might mean just sort of taking it apart and uh, just putting a cat on it, but um, that's fun, but it's a little different from making it from scratch. Um, and part of that interaction, too, is that uh, often you are the factory. We're, we're kind of at a neat time now where we have the same tools as the factory people. We have access to the same production facilities that the factory people do. And that allows us to do some really crazy, neat things. But it also means that everything's kind of looking the same these days. And I'm a little worried. You know, we're kind of in the same boat as analog photography in that we've sort of really concentrating on the end results. And we're getting a little lost in the, like losing the craft of the art. And, you know, maybe it's time, like photography, maybe it's time for that craft to go and, um, you know, sort of be relegated to the, the sort of things like knitting sweaters and making pickles or, you know, maybe knitting sweaters and making pickles are valuable things to be doing. And I think people are recognizing that. And there's a lot of sort of interesting people, you know, going back to even back in the days when Laura Kakauka was putting LEDs in macrame owls. There's interesting stuff around craft and electronics now. And I hope it continues. Thank you.